My name is Vaughn Baker. I have 20 years law enforcement experience, 13 years on a SWAT team, and four or five years as a detective as well. My name is Mark Warren. I've got a total of 27 years in law enforcement. I was assigned to Drug Task Force, worked undercover for five years. Probably the first tip I would say is be aware of your surroundings. Trust yourself to respond to sound. If I hear an argument that's a heated argument, I don't need to go see what the argument looks like. I know it doesn't sound good. Trust my hearing as a sense to get me out of problems. Where we see a lot of casualties in mass shooting events is where people either get down low or they hide underneath objects, whether it's cubicles, tables, or desks. Although that's a very natural thing to do and it makes you feel better, it's one of the worst things you can do. Once you constrict yourself with no escape point and you can't even see where the attacker is, now what you're doing is you're essentially playing hide and seek with a gunman. There are a lot of people that believe we can negotiate, I can talk this person down. The problem with it is what if it's you and 15 kids and you're trying to bargain with a person that one is not rational, they're emotional and they're in an emotional state. That to me is one myth or one belief that really scares me. Many attacks are preceded by a pattern. Really what we want people to look for is those behaviors that are abnormal. Why is that person doing that particular act? We had one active shooter at Virginia Tech was seen at the shooting range and he had targets that he had laid on the ground. What he was actually doing is practicing shooting people that were already on the ground. You decide what is your best response based on where you are in relation to where the threat is. When is lockout appropriate? If you're in an area that can be locked out, you can get that door shut. You can get the blinds pulled to get the covers on the windows. You're gonna lock it, but never trust a locked door alone. We're gonna lock it, layer it, and reinforce it. We really believe in creating redundancy for your lockdown. Get out as if you're in an area that can't be locked out, a cafeteria. We gotta get out of that area to an area we can lock out, or if we happen to be next to an exit door, we can get out of the building altogether. Takeout means fighting back. We give them permission to fight back and then we give them strategies on how to do that. We also let them know the psychological worldview of the attacker so they can see and be confident how successful fighting back can be, knowing that the bad guy is not ready for you to fight back. So just briefly, that just gives you an overview of the three-out response model, whether it's in any particular order, that nonlinear approach.